Hey guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, I'll take you guys back to our lighting studio that we were working on, and it's been a slow process, but I wanna get you guys up to date on the really cool things we have going on here. But today, we're gonna to mainly show you uh, the installation of the James Loudspeaker Small Aperture Speakers, the SA63-7, boom, look at here. So, obviously, these are deeper than and what would go typically in a two by four space or even a two by six space. So a lot of times we're putting these into the ceiling, but because we're doing this in a studio and there's nothing really in the walls or above, we can kind of do whatever we want. So we're going to do these in the walls uh, on this back side. So we'll install these. And the nice thing about James is these are a three way speaker. So we're going to get some lows, some mids, some highs. And this hole right here has a cover so we have a block so it's really cool we can do a square three inch square or a three inch round depending if you're going to do round or square can line we're doing it on the wall so we're gonna have a nice clean fit and finish trim uh, with the sheetrock so we want to be nice and flush you barely notice it painted the same color all those sort of things so just to show you what's going on this front wall again we have a Samsung frame a small one here uh, just a little 32 inch uh, we're gonna do some floating shelves here two 36 inch floating shelves <clears throat> that'll be on each side uh, that we're going to use some really nice um, Aspire uh, LED strip lighting underneath it uh, uh, but we're gonna have two of these speakers on each side underneath the shelf. So uh, we're gonna make it where there's gonna be a 36 inch high where we could put a countertop and then we have um, 18 inches above that, our first shelf, and then 14 inches above that, we have our second shelf. And again, underneath those shelves will be diffused light strips from Aspire, uh, which will be super, super nice. So we're gonna get these speakers going. We're gonna get the brackets on, get them installed, show you guys how that works because they are super cool. So so stay tuned and we'll uh, get these speakers installed, show you how that works and uh, take you on to the next phase. So stay tuned. So we're gonna start, we'll get this block and we're going to attach it to this hole. So that way nothing gets inside the uh, enclosure while the room is being sheet rocked. Okay, so we got a little Allen wrench here and got the block put into place as you can see. So that's going to protect our hole while the room is being sheet rocked, taped and mud and textured and painted. So let's get these bad boys up. All right guys, so we're finally to the point. I can show you guys. Uh, we've got these framed in, these James Loudspeaker SA63-7s. And you know, I wanna make sure that they're perfectly even on both sides. So uh, as you can see here, I <laughs> did a little bit of reframing. Uh, but you know what? You know, that's why we do these mostly in new construction because we wanna make sure they, they line up perfectly. Uh, but a lot of times we're putting these in the ceiling. So these are going to be awesome guys because you're going to barely even notice them so uh, let's get you uh, closer to the speaker so I can show you guys more in detail okay guys so we've got a closer look here so what I have installed on this is a three inch block well we're going to change this out because we have options we can do three inch we can do four inch um, and so we have a as you see here the four inch block so we'll put that in place of this one so this will be something that uh, whatever the surface is going to be which in this case is sheetrock um, they'll cut around this you know leaving our exposed opening into the driver now once the sheetrock guys come in and they cut this perfectly square around this we have this piece right here that will go in place of this and then obviously this edge will be flush with your sheetrock. And then there's different spacers that you can put to put this out depending on your thickness of your sheetrock, depending on your surface material. So a lot of options there. Um, and then you have this foam piece right here that you can put in uh, once the sheetrock is cut and then you put in this flange, and then you put in this piece here like so, then this can help protect the opening uh, that can be taped, so they can uh, tape mud and texture around this to make it nice and clean uh, to this edge. And the finishing touch is this little grill, and again, this grill can be painted exactly the same color as whatever surface material that you have, whether it's sheetrock or wood or whatever it may be. And then you insert that into there, and look at that, it's a nice, clean, fit and finish. This is the two inch mid-range and tweeter. 
and it has actually a RJ45 connection inside of it. And there we go. So it just goes in this cavity and then it screws in place using this bracket. So you got your mid, your highs, and then you have your bass driver inside. Again, this is a three-way speaker. So as you can see, it's nice and secure. This aluminum closure, the way it's welded and totally sealed, because it is a sealed box, guys, this is what really helps make sure these speakers sound its best. And then obviously James has already created all the presets for these speakers so they know exactly how they should sound every single time. And so when we use a DSP amplifier, like the Sonance DSP amplifiers, they have all the presets made Made so these speakers can sound their best and we know exactly how they should sound because they have their own enclosure and the correct DSPs for these speakers. So we like to do James a lot because of things like this and uh, because they're totally custom, there's ways of hiding them, blending them in, making them look good and sound good. That's the key guys. So uh, stay tuned to the video because we have lots more coming and can't wait to show you guys the finished product of these things. So until next time, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.